Hello fellas, it's me with David Fox with Came to Seeds Collection. A bit of a varied collection as well, it's not just like all Subarus, all Avos, all Fords. Got a bit of everything mate, you like a bit Pretty of everything. Much. So can we start with this, tell us a little bit about this Subaru and what but, it is. Yeah, 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 sure. I'll apologise first because I'm Lincoln Cheese, Geordie. You're going to probably struggle <laughs> to understand a pair of us, but yeah. 2000 version 6, it's an uh, Impreza, uh, well it's probably got world's longest name going, it's an Impreza WRX. STI Type RA Limited. Right. So, uh, but yeah, it's a 2000 model. It's, it's basically solely designed, come from Subaru, designated to be a competition car. So, the, the highest spec Subaru you can buy by a 22B, but a so higher spec than the P1 you van, see van, Yeah, than the P1, but a higher spec than the Type R. The Type R is the two door version of a Subaru, a lovely car. You know, I'd swap this for a Type R, genuinely would. Mm -hmm. These come with a front LSD unit, while the Type R doesn't. So it just, this is more of a driver's car. Right. You see it comes with just basic seats in that, the back, isn't it? Like basic. Yeah. The seats in it, uh, I, I've not over it already. No, no. I mean, it's charger cables. Uh, but they're what, like a, a base model in Pretzel seat because. Rally teams who just bin them, you see, that's just all they rip do. The rip, rip it out, throw it in a skip, chuck well, the roll cage, cage in. in. Yeah, and that's it. So they come a mod like for homologation for group and rallying. So they come with the roof scoop from factory. I like the scoop mind. I say you put them in on the Subaru pages. Yeah, you can put, put them the in. I mean you can buy a kit and put them in, but the type RA comes from factory with them if you buy the STI version. If you buy a WRX RA, they tend not to come with them. Right. I like the spoiler as well, it's different isn't it? You yeah. it's titanium. Yeah, it's the, the twin, it's the twin blade. Everyone refers to them as the S201 spoiler. Right. But the S201 actually came after this car. Is the S201 the rally one? No, the S201 is first of the S series cars. It's based on, if you've ever seen a picture of one, the silver and they come with a god awful body kit. Right. It looks like, honestly, it looks I'll like put a picture looks in. like they've come from Delta Styling over <laughs> at Barnsley. Horrendous thing, looking things, but there was the most aerodynamic classic in Pretzel going. Oh, right. Very, very rare, but that the spoiler on this, the twin plane one, is an optional extra on these. I like versions. the spoiler, it's different. I love it. Uh, it's totally it, it's different. It's Marmite, it's love or hate. People hate it, people love it. As long as you enjoy it, it's your car, isn't it? I would, yeah, exactly. I was a bit unsure at first, but genuinely, I can't look at one with a version 6 standard spoiler and, and like them uh -huh. more. It's, it has grown on me. Can we have a look at the Evo? Because yeah. that's got a pretty cool story as well, hasn't it? Yeah, well, the, the I'll e just spin this camera around. Yeah. Right, so funny story about this. I was actually looking at this on, on Facebook <laughs> Marketplace. And when I pulled up, I was like, I recognise that car. I've been looking at it for sale. But so this is an actual car that's, yeah, that I've been yeah, listening it, over on Facebook. It, it, it is, yeah, it's still for sale. Uh, but I've, it, I've had it on eBay and I've took it off now. I'm going to underside refresh it and then I'm going to market it. I thought I'd offer it out as it was so somebody can get in an entry level Evo. But it seems everybody wants pristine underside ones. So Well, they're a bit, <laughs> they've got a bit of a, what would you see it? A, a, a reputation? For, us, for rock, yeah, yeah. As I found out with the other one, but uh, that's but a, another story. But this was actually owned, bought brand new from, brand by a vicar. Yeah. And yeah. you bought it from, from the Vicar? Yeah, he, he bought it, imported it direct from Japan through Coord Sport, which were rally art. He had it from brand new. It's been serviced every 4,000 miles. He bought it at 54 as a retirement present to himself. And he sold it when he was 78. So I bought, I've had it about eight months, seven, eight months. they will get a better owner than that, will you? No. Serviced every 4,000 miles as well? Serviced every 4,000 with all the paperwork print out that's uh, well looked after yeah it's a very well looked it, after it car it is with everything it's it's literally skimp for nothing i think it's probably got over 50 percent genuine mitsubishi dealer history and then the rest of it's uh Mitsu evo specialist right so but yeah genuine you know it was a out and out car it's fantastic it's unmodified it's never had a boost gauge never had a dump valve or an air filter just totally completely original uh-huh yeah. Not get a better. Not you'll better not you'll not find really, a more you? original car. No, definitely not. 
uh, mileage is up on it, but when it's been serviced 4,000 mile and driven by a pensioner, <laughs> it's not hard. You know, this is what I don't get, is people are happy to pay top money for 80,000 miles cars, but that's 80,000 miles of fresh around Flashed Tokyo about. with every boost gauge and HKS accessory uh -huh. going. It's, this place hasn't even hit the limiter in its life. It hasn't, no. I think he said his son took it up to 90 once. 90 mile an hour? <laughs> yeah. 90 mile an hour? Yeah. Unbelievable. But uh, no, it is. It is a nice, you know, I enjoy it. I take kids to school in it. And I would, and I would love this. I love them as well. The big fat arches, aren't they? And yeah. They're, they're so chunky. Yeah. The air, uh, it's a CM shell. Is it Evo 4 as well, isn't it? Four, Just yeah, well, yeah. Apart the from the, on. the back arches are different. Uh -huh. But the four, five and six is, a, is a, the same, technically the same car. Just different revisions, hence the name Evolution. Evolution, you know, mod modified each phase but uh, uh, yeah the fives there's less fives out there than sixes right and and personally i'm i'm a much lover of a five i kind of feel the fives have got the big inboard pia lights and the, the spoilers i feel look a lot a lot better I love the interiors are, i find are better on fives uh -huh. sixes are obviously the next evolution up and they, they are supposedly better but styling wise i don't think they're as good as a five. No, That's I love just these. my personal opinion. You've got hardcore Evo 6 guys all uh, right, will you... be swearing, saying, no, nah, no, nah, the six is better. And <laughs> it is what it is. Everyone's personal different. Yeah. But, uh, exactly, personal. Yeah. Shall we come go down and have a look at yeah, your next course, Evo? Yeah. So this is an Evo 5 6. This is a five again. Five, five again. Yeah. I love the wheels on this as well, mind those. What are they? Do you know what they, they are? They came on the car. Uh, they're actually SSR ATEC. From the early 2000s, they're, they're like a lightweight forged wheel. SSR ATEC Final Speed, I think they're called. But I didn't like them at first when they came on the car. And I had them re-powder coated from like the bronze to the satin black. Uh -huh. And put new tyres on. And you know, I really then decided I liked them. Uh -huh. Did a bit of research and found out they're about two grand a set. Are they? Yeah. So I originally asked the importer, I said, I want original Evo 5 wheels putting on it. He said, yeah, yeah, no bother. And then disregarded what I wanted and I picked it up on these and then got home and then actually realised I would have made a big boo-boo Mistake. By uh, changing the wheels. Changing the wheels, but yeah, so no, I love them. This is a rare colour as well, isn't it? You were seeing it the, is, the yellow. Yeah. yeah, I think the Evo 5s, the, the black, the red and the yellows are the rare colours. Uh, let me take that out, we don't want that beeping and annoying. Binging away. Yeah. I love these, mind. I love these Evos. I just love how fat they are and... They look awesome. They yeah, do. They come down the road. This is, it's had a hell of a lot of work, this car. It's had complete... You've done all the work yourself as well, yeah, haven't you? Yeah. I it's... think the camera will there. We'll have a little look underneath. It's been yeah. all done Pre underneath, painted underneath and... Pretty much, it was a mess when I bought it. I've put new chassis rails in it. I've basically powder coated everything, zinc plated all the bolts. Oh, looks mint. Uh, literally done everything. So, I think it's only... The, you know the, the best way to do them is 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 buy them and sort them uh -huh, yourself. Uh -huh. If I was buying a car, I would love to see this. Mind, I, obviously it adds a lot of the value as well, though being it done does. like that, doesn't it? It does, yeah. You're not hiding anything. You can see what, what's there. No, uh, and that's the thing. There's so many people just budget, squirt, squirt some black crap on. That's what and, I see a lot of with the Subarus and the Evos. Are just they're a bit tatty yeah. underneath, so they just go and get a tinner, T tinner yeah. tar. And yeah, just blast and, and again, everywhere. I mean, the Scooby, I've I've put that Lanagard, and that were after watching uh -huh. your video. Well, that, so I'm that's gonna, I'm going to try that. Uh -huh. Yeah, because it's clear, don't hide anything. But I found using that, it, it you have obviously have to top it up. Uh -huh. So even if you don't want it on, after a year or so, it's pretty much come off. Come off. Yeah. So then it's not as like that black bitumen stuff uh -huh. where. This were, oh, it was terrible. Did yeah. you say you'd done this in about six months as well, didn't you? Yeah, between work and just... Family and family keeping and the missus yeah, happy. <laughs> yeah. That's the biggest struggle, isn't it? Keeping it everyone keep, happy. Keep, yeah, keeping everyone happy. And, and the problem is as well, trying to be everyone's hero. Uh, you know, can you look at this? Can you do that? Can you, you know, you, I know. You, I yeah. get that. My girlfriend's got a, a thing of nominating me. Oh, whatever's having a problem with that car, will you have a look? <laughs> Because uh, uh, yeah, I get that all the time. <laughs> can, can you? I'm a can you person. Aren't uh, I? Can you? Can you? Can you just do this? <laughs> can you look at this? Can, yeah, no, I'm it is nice. It's so really nice. What's the plans for this in the future? Uh, 
the problem is, is, is like we discussed, Adam, we feel, the, you know, I feel, well, anyway, that the market for modifying cars has completely changed while people don't want to put big money into modified cars mm -hmm. because, one, they're not going to get the money back, and two, you know, <laughs> paying whatever, so many thousands and thousands of pounds, then you're paying thousands and thousands to modify it to essentially, at the big end, devalue it. And I, know. And I feel it, you know, I like the love's gone. But I like modified cars, but I don't I like do. them too modified anyway. I'm more I of a, I'm more of a set of suspension, some coilovers, like, and a nice set of wheels. Yeah, literally, I'm the exact same. I've put a set of coilovers on it. Uh, I've put an HK silent eye power because I don't like noisy exhaust. No, I don't know. Probably because I'm getting old, <laughs> fat, fat, bald, and old. Fat and old <laughs> yeah, so uh, I've, got, I've, I've got the original airbox still on it. I'm going to put a, an air filter on it, and I'm going to map it, but leave it considerably fairly standardish. So what power is it now? Do you think? About uh, probably. Well, it'll be standard factory, but by the time I map it, probably I don't know, probably 300. It's I'm enough, put, isn't it? All I'm going to do is put three port boost solenoid on uh -huh. it. I've upgraded the fuel pump. Air filter and a decal, I don't know what should be three and a half hundred ish. It's enough, plenty. Yeah, it's plenty to take the kids out in and get a nice oh, loading. Yeah, that's it. I, I, over my experience, I've kind of found if you over string stuff, over tune stuff, they're, they're not very reliable. Uh, end of more and, time fixing it. Yeah, more time fixing it. You spend more time fixing it, and sometimes the best cars are the mildly modified uh -huh. ones because they're reliable, reliable. you have more fun. You, know, you use them. Yeah, right. summer's day and all your mates have gone to some car show and you're in here pulling a gearbox off because you've <laughs> you destroyed blew it, up. it. Yeah, you know, uh, I kind of feel like them days are gone. I, I don't want to be that. No. I'd rather be the out eating there. Ice cream yeah, the eating ice cream down the beach Eating ice cream, yeah. Can we yeah. have a look there? The Cosworth? Yeah. Now this is a cool old beast, isn't it? Yeah. Mercedes Cosworth. 190. Uh -huh. It's uh, the early one. It's a uh, 2.3 16 valve. Yeah, so the later ones of these are the 2.5s. Ah, 2.5s. Yeah, it's an early one, so it's the original Cosworth designed head one. Could we have a look under the bonnet? Yeah, yeah. it. The later 2.5s uh, were cast Mercedes heads, or so right. I'm led to believe. So it's only the 2.3s really which were the original Cosworth, if difference? you wanted to be anal. In the 2.3 and the 2.5? Yeah, the, the yeah, they were very similar, they, they altered the stroke on the 2.5s, so they've got more torque, more top end power, so they right. went from, I think this is 187 as a 2.3.16, and they went to 205 I believe on the 2.5s. Right, 2 on the 2.5. Yeah, you like this, have you seen these bonnets how they lift? Got them cool, right? Okay. Four. If the wind gets hold of that, man. Yeah. I, mean, I love these. What old Mercs. I keep looking at them. It is. Yeah. You know, as a kid, I'd, you know, like I said, you, you know, when you saw one of these at Cider Road, you were like, wow, there's someone like There's someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, someone you did. Money. You were, as a kid, you know, I was born in 85, so seven, eight year old, 1993 ish, you walk in and, and these were like four, five year old and they're still gleaming at Cider Road. And, yeah. and you're like, wow. That's nice. And as a kid, you know, and you know, you're a petrol head as soon as you're born, aren't you? Aye. Do you know what I mean? So Aye. you're like, wow, that's nice, and I want one of them. And and I think with it is as I've grown up, majority of the cars I've got are cars that I've grown up with or liking. Uh -huh. so Watching I've on the telly and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean the Evos were you know, when I'm 16, they were like nearly brand new. Oh. You know, I was a young lad and I was like, yeah, you you know, you wanted one. I mean, my first car were an RS Turbo. At, at seven year old, my next door neighbor had a, a near, near as damn it brand new 90 spec Series 2 Turbo. And, and as soon as I'm old enough to drive one, that's what I had, so <laughs> yeah. Copper motor of Wales as well. They are, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna powder coat them silver. Oh yeah. Uh, the car's tired, I mean, it's it's marked on every panel, but it's got a really good base, this. Are you going to restore it yourself? Yeah, yeah. We, we restored the engine, but we had an issue we it didn't make to the new shells. Uh, we should have reground really the crank, so I've got to pull that back out, but the original plan was pull it out, refresh it because it had a worn timing chain and guides, put it back in, run it, make sure everything's ironed out, all the niggles, and then sort the body but we didn't get that far so i'm going to pull it back out again 
a friend, me and a friend of mine, Trev, we're gonna rip it back out, rip the crank out, regrind it, new shells, put it all back together, and then we'll, we'll you know, we'll get through it that way. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah I wanna use this daily. Uh -huh. I wanna go to the pub for a carvery, you know, <laughs> park up, it's, you know, I, I don't like new cars. Well, I do like new cars. I appreciate them, but I uh, like I like being a bit different. I like stand, you know, just standing out where everyone's pulling in in, in general generic, uh, you know, generic I know stuff. What you mean. And, and then you roll in in like late eighties Merc, polished to the knackers, <laughs> you know. New cars are kind of. To me, they're comfortable, the nice they're nice dealies. They are what they are, you've just hit the nail on the head. The cars, Aye. they get you somewhere reliably, safely. Comfort. Comfort, air but con on, you know, lovely, but. You don't want out the car park and be getting. Yeah, mm. you know, I'll always have a, a, a new car uh -huh. because I need reliability. Aye, that's it, you've got I family need, in that. Yeah, 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 but. If I want to go somewhere and I'm not really bothered if I'm going to take one of these, yeah. You've got some other cars as well around here, haven't you? Yeah. Can we go and have a look at some of those? Yeah, we can do, yeah. We'll jump in one of the cars. Which car do you want to take? We can take either. Should we take the Evo? We'll take the Evo. We'll take the Evo. Yeah. Right, so this is your other, other little project, Dave. Yeah, little. Little. <laughs> Beautiful as well, mine. Nice. I've had this car for seven years. It has been painted. It's it has been covered. painted. Yeah, we've, we've flattered the wing to polish it up. Right. It's, it's a Range Rover colour barrel. Is it like a black. metallic? Yeah, I'll pull it, I'll pull it out and we'll I'll have a look at it we'll have a look, the yeah. other side. Do you want a hand up and you manage? Ah, I should manage. It's on skates. Ah, this is nice. I love a cage in a car, you know. I really yeah. do. It, uh, it's a nice cage as well, nice big fat chunky cage. It was one of them is I did the car and one of the lads I know, one of my mates, he came and he said, that bolting cage you've got in Dave's lowering car down. And I'm like, oh. and seed were planted in me uh -oh. and I'm like, yeah, stuff <laughs> it. While we're, while we're at this stage before paint, let's have cage print. So Sam at Ark did the cage, done a really nice, nice job. Yeah. How much is what a cage like this roughly on a Mark II Escort? I think you're about 1,700 quid. Right. Which I don't think were bad. No, I think I got no. about 500 quid for the bolting cage back or uh -huh. somewhere along them lines. Tell you what, there'll be some grafting making this. Yeah. I've been steady away at it. You know, there's a, f a few people been asking me on my YouTube channel, but what's happening with it and, and, and where I, where is it? And they think it's gone, but it's not. It's, it's, it's here. It's just, you know, it's just hard. Time. <laughs> hard trying to find the time and... Uh -huh. Yeah, unless I'm going to pay someone to finish it, which I'm not going to do that, I think. That's so what's with the roof? Have you put the carbon roof carbon on? Carbon roof, yeah. Got, got the carbon roof. It's got, I've got carbon fibre roof, mm -hmm. carbon bonnet, carbon boot. You've got them already? Yeah, got go them on. all, yeah. Uh, I've got carbon fibre tunnel cover, uh -huh. two carbon fibre Recaro wrap round seats, got the carbon fibre WRC mirrors, carbon nice. door cards, Cut all the carbon infill trims at the back, uh, carbon C pillars and light guards and carbon bumpers. Literally, whatever you can buy carbon, I think I've, got co it. I've collected it, yeah. So was this like a 1.3 to start it with? It was a 1.3, 1 1 yeah. I bought it for, I give, give about six grand for it from over... With Bolt, the archers not that ready on? Yeah, yeah, but they've all been took off. It's had... You redone you know, them? It had a Pinto in it with a, an open... Atlas, uh -huh. and it was really, really rough. It's had hell of a lot of fabrication work. Uh, Phil, my mate, he's he's done. He's spent a fair bit of time on it. Uh, it, it has, yeah. It, it's had hell of a lot of work. Nice saw. I love Mark Twos. Cool cars. Yeah. Especially with them archers. Yeah, but they're the tarmac archers. So the difference with the tarmac ones is on the rear, you'll hear people, some people call them forest archers. Mm -hmm. The forest archers on the back finish below the swage while the tarmac finish above right. the swage. So I, because I'll use this on track, I will actually track it. Uh, so I wanted it with a tarmac. I have got some 17 inch splits, 17 by 10 and a half J splits. Split rims? Split rims to go on it. But I will obviously keep the 15s. Keep those as well. Yeah. So what engine have we got? It, it is a crate Juratech at the minute. Eventually I've, I've collected all the engine parts enough to build a, an iRevin Juratech. Uh, but that's a 2 litre Juratech. 
I think that one's this one's out of a focus. Right. But it was a crate engine, so it's not done anything. I think it's a similar engine to the ST Fiesta, the ST150. Right. It's a pretty much pretty common conversion in Mark II Escorts. I like the grill as well with the Ford badge on. Yeah, I purposely asked them for an unpainted one because when you get them, they, they paint them all back, all on the hour. I mean, the car's covered in dust. Dust, uh, that's uh, hard. But yeah, there, there's nice. been a lot of work gone into nice. the thing. Beautiful, really nice, really do like this. I think the cage makes it as well, like the big fat yeah. cage, it really does look nice. It does, yeah, it finishes it off and it's going to stiffen it up no end, especially oh, with no roof. So there's enough of a roof to bond on, uh -huh. you should just stiffen it right up. So you just couldn't, like you say, you put the carbon roof on? Yeah, got carbon, basically it just sit, bonds on over the top. Is that a Ford part there? Or is that, has no, that been added? We, we put them in just so the, when we bond the roof we can bond it to this right, so not, as well. Not yeah. drum kind of thing? Yeah, pretty much, just to, just give it some extra strength, mm -hmm. so no, we put those in. The boot, well it's obviously full of shite, but uh, as you can see obviously because we're still building it, it's all, Class. all the fuel tanks in. Moment. But it's got oversized wells. Right, so you get big... Yeah, we've put alley injures. It's all six linked on coilovers all around, so it's not on leaf springs no more. So when do you think this will be done? What's uh, your plans? <laughs> hopefully soon. <laughs> How long's it been going? Hopefully soon. When did you, when did you buy it? Oh, uh, this, I've had it seven years. I've been, Have you? I stripped it and been building it back up for must be knocking on three, four years now. Just always it's messing just, about. I get sidetracked with Subarus blowing engines and Evos <laughs> with rusty chassis legs and, and what have you. But yeah, no, I'm hoping maybe maybe next summer. I'm hoping to hit it hard over this winter. Uh -huh. So my favourite bit is, all my mates that love this because they love how proud I am of this, is, do you know when you're at Gun McDonald's, uh -huh. And you go into a car show and you think, oh, I just want a drink. And you sat there in your Mark to Escort with a bucket seats and nowhere to put your uh, McDonald's coffee. Could you need a cup holder? 100. No, I, I would. I, I, <laughs> I, I, would... Weld, I welded the bracket to the dash bar and that's actually out of a back seat of a Vectra. Is it? So yeah, I put it all in and it all got painted all while it's in. But yeah. No, definitely. I would do I would 100% <laughs> oh, yeah. do something like that. Yeah. Things it's you need in a car, a cup holder, air a cup con, holder, and Bluetooth. Yeah. I'm not bothered about aircon, <laughs> but you know, I'll have, you know, I can I can sort the rest. But as long as I've got a cup holder for no, my drink, makes I'm, sense. I'm happy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you've also got another project here, haven't you? Uh, yeah. I've got another, <laughs> another key. Where do I end with the things? Can we go and have a look at the other one? Yeah, we can do. Right. Uh, yeah. We'll have a touch along, eh? Yeah. So this is your last project, Dave? Yep. Obviously Ford Cortina. Yeah, I've always liked these. Have you? Yeah. When you finish that, are you going to paint it white with a green stripe? I'm a heck. Are you not? Know? It's, it's done. It's done. <laughs> Rust is a colour. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the only car of mine which I do not want to paint. Right. Uh, You're gonna, gonna, actually going to leave it like this? The, the, I've put arch section and that and the sill in. Uh, but I'm, I am going to colour and dust uh -huh. the blue in, just so it's thingy, but I mean, it's took probably 45, 50 years to look this good already, so why would you paint it? <laughs> Fair enough, eh? uh, I, I understand, you know, uh, I do, I understand. So yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, it's one of one of them cars I've always wanted, seen one when I was a kid. Remember it by the Bamba Bombat lights. So everything's just launched in for the time being but it's a really good base because the shell is a really good good shell solid shell yeah it's what we call an aeroflow model so it's the later mark one cortina mm -hmm. uh, someone's done me the leg work it's already steering rack converted so right. we'll look at that in the engine bay at the minute so we've converted it to steering rack because these are originally on the steering box oh, right. and it's got sierra cosworth front coilovers on the Has front it? Yeah, it's converted. Gaz, are the gaz yeah, or something? I believe the gaz, yeah. Ah, I can see them. Should we put the bonnet and have a look underneath? Yeah. Pre cable, you see it? Pre cable, so yeah. See that, man? Part of a grill. I've never even seen that before. Yeah, Mark, early Mark 1 Escort's the same, so you just pop that. So anyone on the street could just anyone pop your bonnet? Yeah, I'll lift bonnet off because it's not bolted. So but what are you putting in? 
Jaguar S-Type 3 litre, basically the Mondeo ST220 engine. Right. They put them in the Jags and put VVT on them, so it give them another 20 horsepower. Oh, so the, so the 240, the two, yeah, 240, they come with a five-speed manual rear-wheel drive box already on back of them. Uh -huh. So it's kind of a really no-brainer. I sold the original engine out of it for 400 quid and give 400 quid for the complete Jag. Oh, well, there you go. So it was a bit so of a no-brainer. Yeah. Well, decaf, we are decaf and aftermarket management. We'll do about 275, 280 offs. Oh, there's been plenty in this one. Oh, no, yeah, it is. Yeah, and then. I've got a 75 shot of nitrous kit to go on just for just, just for, for adding giggles. giggles, yeah. But uh, unfortunately, this one's going to be one of the later cars I'm going to get round to, which is a shame because I think it's one of the cooler cars. So you're going to do your your Mark II Escort, what we've just seen before you do this? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because if not, I'll just get air ache. Aye. So, cool. but no, I've got an engine. I can show you the engine we're putting I'm in. I'm going to look for the engine. It's a big old, big old lumbar. It's all alley. So this is the engine, eh? Pretty much. Pretty compact. What is it? What size? Three litre V6. Three litre V6. Yeah, 24 valve. So chain it's driven. It's more powerful than the Ford V6. Yeah, the, the Mondeo uh, was 200, the ST220, uh -huh. Mark III Mondeo. They had 220 horsepower, but the Jag put them in the S type because Jag and Ford were in bed at that time and they put VVT on these and released another 20 horsepower out of them. So oh. 240 horse, like I said, D, we're D cat. Aluminium After, block, did you see? Yeah, all alley. It, apparently this, this design engine was done by Porsche really? originally. And then I'm not sure if it were Ford or Jack Land Rover or bought the rights off Porsche. So it's originally a Porsche designed engine. That's it fellas, thanks for watching. And thanks to Dave for having us down. If you want to see more of Dave's cars, You've got, you've got a YouTube channel? Yeah, you yeah. I've not got many subscribers. Uh, but you're welcome to have a look if you want boring, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave a link below, fellas. You can check it out, see some of his cars. But yeah, again, mate, thanks for having us down. Yeah, no worries, anytime. So it's been uh, been a pleasure. And I hope everyone understood us. Um, Geordie yeah, and Yorkshire <laughs> together. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, though, fellas. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Spot on, mate. Cheers. <laughs>